Matteo here. Hope you're all well on this Friday morning. <clears throat> when if you watch this, it's Friday morning to me. Um, if you haven't watched the weekly update, and if you like to see me having a bit of a rant, go and watch it. Because um, I let off a little bit of steam last night. I do apologise, but I was quite, quite annoyed. <laughs> Is what people have been saying. I, I expect criticism, I get that, but um, not like that. Um, okay, we've lost a couple of subscribers. They're lost. Um, but we're still a good little band. We've not reached superstar st status yet. We're just a nice little cult group at the moment, and I like that. And as I said last night, Thank you for you who do support what I do and the way I do it. So today, being Friday, it's live album review day, um, or a live album ranking, whatever you want to call it. And today we're looking at UK, that little British progressive band led by John Wetton and Bill Bruford. Um, they were only around for three years and what an impact, two albums and some great tracks they left us with. Um, they released four um, live albums because they did get back together at sort of with two of the original members uh, and they gave some outstanding performances on them reunion tours. So we got four to look at. Um, I'll mention who's on each album as we go through it. So coming in at number four, this was released in 2013 and it was recorded in April 2011 during the first reunion tour. Um, we've got John Wetton, Eddie Jobson, um, Alex Mackinac and Marco Minimum. These are recorded in the club Sita in Tokyo. Um, this the thing about this set that, that it was the first time they'd ever record performed Nevermore, which was unusual. And we got two King Crimson Wet and Area tunes as well thrown in, which is pretty cool. So it opens up within the dead of night of course classic track um, by the Lloyd to the day another good track presto vivant's reprise the brilliant danger money one of my favorite tracks by uk sterling version of 30 years uh alaska classic track again time to kill always good um, so best. It's always better live, I think. Then we get the first of the King Crimson tracks, uh, the brilliant Starless, one of John Wetton's finest. Still a brilliant track. Um, love that track. Carry on, No Cross, another good song. Violin solo for Eddie Jobson's just top draw. Then we get Nevermore. It was great to hear this live. It's a great song. And I think live it sounds even better, even though it hasn't got uh, Alan Holmesworth on it. It's pretty good, and the drumming's outstanding as well. Then we get another King Crimson track, One More Red Nightmare, brilliant version of that. The fantastic Caesar Palace Blues, The Only Thing She Needs, and Rendezvous 602. Excellent album, lovely to hear Nevermore live, a fine rendition of Starless and One More Red Nightmare. Great production, uh, crowd loved it, I love it, so it gets, so it gets an RTO ranking of 7.9. Okay, coming in at number three. If you hear a funny noise in the background, it's our Rocky snoring his head off. So. It's nothing sinister, it's just Rocky snoring. So coming in at number three, we have a live album recorded again in Japan, but this time at the Nakano Sun Plaza Hall and the Nippon 
Sinocan in Tokyo, done in May and June 1979, and it was released in September 79 in support of the band's US tour, supporting Death Row Till. So, on this album, we've got the when it was a three piece, it was Eddie Jobson, John Wetton, and Terry Bozio on the drums. Again, we open up with the uh, Night After Night. That opening keyboard, just I love it. Rendezvous 602's on here, another good Sterling version of it. Um, Nothing to Lose, brilliant. And then we get a track that's never been on any studio album. It's called As Long As You Want Me Here. This is one of the reasons that I wanted to do a live album review of this band because this is a track that we didn't have to, didn't review when we did the studio albums. It, it's a great track. This is a really great stuff. The vocal from John is fantastic. Uh, I'd say this is more bore, this is borderline your UK, but more John Wet and Solo, them early John Wet, Wet and Solo albums. But what makes this is Eddie Jobson's keyboards. The, the swirls he gets on this just blow you away. It's an excellent track. It's worth getting this album or listening just for that track. It's great stuff. Um, then we get Alaska. Always a favourite of mine. Time to Kill, more classic UK. Presto Vivace, it's only a short bit, but it's still on there in the dead of night. And it ends up with the fantastic Caesar Palace Blues. Again, great album. It's just great to hear a new, new song on here that was never released. So, Again, production's good, fans are going mental. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, then coming in at number 2. Uh, this is the final live album they put out. Again, recorded in Kasa Kasasaki in Japan. The album was released in 2013. 2015, sorry, and these concerts were done... Um, in 2013 it's called Curtain Call um, on this they the album consists of the complete live performances of the two studio albums UK and Danger Money plus there's two non-studio tracks that were pre present on the live album Night After Night the set all this includes a song called Waiting For You a pre previously unreleased song that was performed during 1979's tour, but it was intended to be on a third album that never, ever came about. And the song Mental Medication was never performed live before this. There you go. So, we got Eddie Jobson, John Wetton, Alice... M Manakek and Marco Miniman. So the first side will be the first songs are all from the debut album UK. Uh, I've got In the Dead of the Night, great song by the Light of Day. Full version of Presto Vivace Reprise, Thirty Years Alaska, Time to Kill, Nevermore. Mental Medication. Now, I love this track. Um, but live, it's 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 the definitive version, I think. Um, I don't know why they didn't do it when they got Bill Bruford and Alan Holsworth in it, in the band. But what's outstanding on here is Eddie Jobson. First thing you get is a great keyboard solo. Put stuff, Comes off the keyboards, picks up the violin... And this is the most amazing violin solo. It's an excellent track. Then we get a drum solo from Marco Minimum. It just breaks up the two albums, I think. Then they come out again, the rest of the band, and they go to do the Danger Money album. Opens up with the brilliant Danger Money. Rendezvous 602, The Only Thing She Needs. Caesar Palace Blues, which is always a favourite. Nothing to Lose. 
Carry No Cross, brilliant. Then we get this track waiting for you. Another great track. Um, the interplay here between Wetton and Jobson, bass, guitar, violin, is fantastic. Um, just fantastic. So the vocal from John is so, so soulful, meaningful, and wonderful. That's all I can describe it. It is really good. Then we get the brilliant Night After Night, of course. And another version of As, of as Long As You Want Me Here. This is probably a fantastic album. Because you get both lot albums live. Um, I play this a lot. Because I just think it's really really cool um i just love i just love the musicianship these two guys alex and uh marco fitted into this band it's a shame they didn't make an album because i think it would have been brilliant um so i'm going to give this one an rto ranking of 8.5 okay my number one now <laughs> this is a bit of a mix up here it first came out as a classic in called Concert Classics. It was originally broadcast for radio. My version is an album that was recorded on the 11th of July 1978 at the Paradise Theatre, Boston, Massachusetts. It sort of re re released there in Japan and then it was re-released. And I, I've got it called as Live at Boston. It's really good. It's sort of been remixed. And the band, of course, is the classic original lineup of Alan Holdsworth, Eddie Jobson, John Wetton, and Bill Bruford. Um, it's a fantastic album, this is. It's, it was just nice to hear that original lineup doing this. It's very short, obviously. But it's brilliant and the sound of it is fantastic. Opens up with Alaska. Probably the best version. All these ver songs on here are to me the um, definitive versions of these. They sound so much better live. Um, Time to Kill, The Only Thing She Needs, that's brilliant on here. Carry No Cross, 10 minutes of pure great prog. Bill Bruford's jumping on this is just superb. He is such a great drummer. Um, 30 Years, probably the best version of this. Then you get By the Day of the Light a little bit, and then you get Presto Vivance, and then he goes back into the dead of night. And probably the best version of Caesar Palace Blues you'll ever hear. Very short album, of course, um, but it's timeless for me sound is great and it's just a pleasure to hear Holdsworth, Jobson, Wetton and Bruford doing what they were good at very underrated band um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10 ok uh, one more show, brand new album review, we've got a couple coming up as you know, we've got another good one next week, but tomorrow tomorrow, today Losing track of time here. We'll be looking at Rock Bolivia, the new album from the Mighty Scorpions. So I hope you join me for that one. Until then, ta-ta for now.